opened it, we might as well drink it. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna uh, obviously add more dirt and stuff and blood and all that malarkey. I mean, um, I'd be quite concerned if I woke up looking like this. Yeah. I mean, maybe like 111 would be the place I'd go to. <laughs> or like my mum, or screaming down the hall. Yeah. It's a good know. best reaction. Like, I feel like there'd be something. <laughs> So well. I have a story from my friend Evie. Shout out Evie, hey, how's it going? So we've talked back and forth about kind of paranormal events that have happened to us. So she's worked in a pub that used to be a prison in during the um, Spanish War, I believe, or Spanish, like something like that, something really relatively big. And she has had multiple, multiple uh, cases where she's been upstairs cashing up whatever and someone's turned all the taps on downstairs and she heard one of the people person is the only people in the building stuff like that like so she has one about 10 years ago she was staying at a friend's house for a sleepover uh we're gonna call these friends m and b so they're at m's house with their friend b and basically he ends up going to bed um kind of tired themselves out and whatnot and she stayed in their their friend's old sister's room well it's just a bigger room so that all three of them could stay in there right yeah. um so she took the bed her friends took the sofa bed it was like a double bed and basically my friend Evie felt a tug on the end of her bed covers. And she just thought, you know, it's probably one of her mates, you know, messing about, whatever. And it woke her up and she saw like the actual, like you could see physically like the ends of the covers being tugged. No, yeah. Fully moving, yeah. And she just thought it was just, you know, her mates, you know, having a laugh, whatever, you know, really kind of like winding her up a little bit. No, no, both of them were dead asleep. So she'd like been like, you know, it was the middle of the night. She thought nothing of it. She just, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to go in bed, whatever. Next morning, she mentions this. So, oh, hey, like, you know, this happened. Did you do this? And they were like, well, no, because turns out one of them couldn't sleep on the sofa. So she ends up, they end up going back to their own room. So I'm assuming that's M. And B was dead asleep. And M, Ron was just out of the matter of fact, was like, oh yeah, no, apparently, like, oh yeah, I forgot to say, like, there was this spirit of a little boy that used to, like, mess around with my sister, like, at night, and, like, mess around with her bed covers. Fuck off. Like, an actual spectre of a child, like, just messing around with her sister. So, please, obviously, it was a female in her sister's bedroom, like, in her bed. This, whatever spectre it was, probably just assumed it was her sister and just yeah we're just playing playing around yeah maybe told them like in the morning like oh yeah like oh yeah i forgot about that like i'm just casual you know oh yeah this might fucking happen yeah just just casual and yeah it's just they kind of just freaked her out and i quote oh i think it was the little boy's spirit who lives in the room when my sister used to live here growing up she would hear crying in his room in this room he used to always get her attention with you being in the bed he probably thought you were her as she she hasn't been back from uni in a while. That was the quote that her friend had told her. All kinds of no. Yeah. No. Right? Just a big old nope. But I love that story because it's like, oh yeah, so this just happened, just casual. Like, yeah, thank you, Evie, for bringing that story in because I love your stories because you have a lot of them and it makes me happy. Okay, so can I look at yourself? Oh, I feel like I need more sleep. <laughs> So I'm gonna finish up last minute details and use some scab blood, which is this gel blood that kind of smells like cake. Okay, three, two, one. It's all about humanity. You've never looked more beautiful. Let's be honest. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a zombie makeup, actually the only zombie that I've done so far in this series for this year of 31 Days of Spooks, so privileged. Only you and one other person has been like a returning person on this series. It's because I'm a genius. Yo, G the genius, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this has been a, a makeup and ghost stories kind of get ready with me and my friend. Yeah, I'll be doing a part two, don't worry, so any stories that I've missed or my own stories that, you know, I've mentioned that I'm gonna talk about or if you wanna send any stories in, please Please do, I really want to hear your stories. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, even though it might not work. Follow all my social media down below. And where can they find you, G? On Instagram. Uh, Instagram? Instagram, yes. On, like, look, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs>
<laughs> Where can they find you? Where can the people find you? On Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, the Slab and Jay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being a good trooper and being awesome. And we're now going to watch a very fun film to kind of like cancel out the spooks. Because I'm actually a massive wimp. I, I got I... jump scared by a crane flight in episode three. Oh my god! So I was walking down the road and I got jump scared by a fucking cat. <laughs> So, I'll see you tomorrow for the next fabulous installment of 31 Days of Spooks. Do you want to do the honours, camera? Bye! Bye.